what is happening y'all welcome on back so um i decided to roll obs back to 27.2.4 which is the older version which now means my stream deck works which is great so it means i don't gotta alt tab to stop stuff uh as for the settings i think we have kind of found the sweet spot here um pushing out the the field of view i think has helped with like the the jankiness just for those curious what we're doing in case they want to do it themselves uh, we have the field of view all the way at 1.5. I think that's helping. It's giving it more of like a Sekiro type feel. And then we're running custom DLSS with these. So foliage animation is down. Shadows resolution and range are both at low. Uh, indirect illumination is down at half. Terrain displacement disabled. Particles down to medium. Refraction down at half. Ray tracing disabled. And I think this is a sweet spot. I mean, there, there's still a little bit of that... Uh, you know, that, that camera jank that I was mentioning before. Oh, there's definitely a boss fight about to happen, probably. Um, but with the with the uh, the camera view pulled back, it's not... I feel like it's not as apparent with the, the field of view back where it's at right now. I also tried playing with field of view at 0.5. That was interesting. I want to see it. You want to see what it looks like? It's, fun. it's, it's pretty funny. The... Over the shoulder, first person souls. It's actually really hard fighting like this. I like fought one dude and I could barely tell when I was dodging him. Uh, so, yeah, not playing like that. Uh, but the 1.5, I think, puts it closer to, like, um, I don't know, like the same draw distance that we would have in, like, Sekiro. Feels natural to me. I mean, maybe it's a little bit farther, but I don't know. I feel like this lessens the impact of that, the weird camera angle, which... In retrospect, now that I know that Spiders is the folks who did uh, Greedfall, that's 100% in. I remember I tried playing Greedfall at lunch, and I'm like, man, there's something with this camera. I just I cannot do it. Uh, yeah. See that, uh... Those cameras are just not their specialty. Bro, come on. You really think I'm gonna let that shit hit me? Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, let's go, guy. I'm down here so I can beat your ass. What? A bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't climb up on there. Something in here, though. Before we go inside. Guessing I unlock this later. Yeah. Seals are big. I definitely want to. I want to expand my health bar more to where like a single heal is about like half. That'd be a comfy spot. The ambush. It's been a long time without something jumping out to smack me. Too long.
said, we're not going to do any ambushes. We're just going to front load a bunch of enemies in this one room. Good luck. Hope you have heals. Uh, so that's probably where I go, but this is screaming to me. Come this way and, and go across and get some treasure. Maybe this is where I proceed. Yeah, the more I'm seeing the like the jumps and the grabs, the more the uh, farther field of view and uh, the Sekiro-ish style camera fits. But I came back. Lasting Affliction Module. Oh, probably makes stuff last longer. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't really have a big reason to use that. I'm not really working on afflictions at all. Whatever. I think I picked up the thing I needed to upgrade my weapon at another tier. I'm really liking the double blade thing. Major uh, Blades of Mercy vibes at the start of Bloodborne. It was always one of those weapons that, like, I would have loved to play Bloodborne with it. Get it, like, at... Get it at, like, the end of the game. At least if you're following the quest, right? Come on. Want to go upstairs? Sounds like y'all have a very, very specific leash distance, and you're not allowed to come down here. Mm, I'm gonna be extra cheeky. Oh no, it looks like it applies both ways. That one still, that, that one sure as shit worked. Oh, I did not know I could combo that, bro. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Freeze them up and then just spin to win them into oblivion. Ooh. Ooh, that is, uh, wow. That is really good. Like, I like that a lot. More endurance. Plus two, plus three. Wait, hang on. Good more armor. Hmm. Pirate hat. Oh, minus armor plus endurance. It might. Ugh, I might keep that. I don't think one endurance is going to be worth the 20 loss to armor. I need to get outside so I can see how this looks with the fashion. If the hat throws off the whole outfit, I will swap it out. We're definitely a shortcut back. Mm, I mean, it kind of does. I don't really like that one that much either. This one. Oh, wait. Are you... Oh. You're, you're the base starting one. You look the best with this outfit, though. Um... I mean, the Fashion Souls is the worst choice. Do it. Go for the Endurance. Should probably go all the way back, but I mean, I don't know. I got a shortcut. I feel like I'm doing okay. Worst case, if I die, shortcut, you know. Oh, oh, there's two of you. Oh.
took five episodes and I found the I win combo. Oh man, oh, oh, oh no, no! Oh. We got the shortcut. Locked. I wonder if the I win combo works against bosses, because if it does, then it's a, it's a really, really I win combo. Ooh, that might be worth going back for. That's a, um, it's either an extra heal or a uh, heal increase. I think that's where I go. Let's see what's up here. Single wall. Yep, wall and a shortcut. All right, yeah, let's let's shoot back. I think if I if I use up the lesser spirits and stuff, I can probably get a level. No, how close am I? Can I see that? Twenty-five ninety. Ugh. I really hate going back and not leveling. Say I needed 2590. We'll say 2600. Keep it simple. I keep an eye on the alchemical capsules to see if I'm. Because right now I'm using three per kill, basically. So that's that's the. That's the metric. Is do I have enough that I can consistently do three per kill without dying? Short range, too. No! I am living on the edge at the moment. Oh God, I, got, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I want to keep pushing, but like, no, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing, dude? I got tons. Tons of healing. Boom. Ordinary oil vials. Let's go. We ain't stopping. We're pushing onward. Like that has a very simple, just little heart icon. Oh, heals. Oh, hello there. Gonna hide away from me. Oh. Look, see, the game is even giving me more healing. It's like, don't, don't stop, cowboy. Push deeper. Aim explosive petrification. I haven't tried petrification yet. Um. 
Oh, I feel. Oh, you. Okay. All right. Um. Ah. Huh. So I'm up, up here, and it's got to be this way then. That one. I want to try out some of the stuff I'm sitting on. Oh, wow. All right, so petrification grenades are pretty OP. We already seen what explosive does and fire does. So antidote, that's resistance in general. Um, I haven't tried fulmination grenade. Must be good, because I only have two of them. Wheel of Vengeance. That sounds very angry. Is Strength Alchemy. It's counter attack special. So your Strength... Strength Alchemy... Uh... Huh. I'm gonna try hitting somebody with it. I feel like maybe if I counter it, like... Because that makes it look like fire. That looks like fire. You know, I look at that and I'm like, oh yeah, it, it has fire element. It's like this has light element and that has frost. Frost, nothing, nothing. Um, badassery, fire, fire. Yeah, no, not flame damage, 100. What do you have? Back to mobilization. Defense turns the force of the enemies and attack against them, throwing them off balance and inflicting flame damage. I'll try it. It's it's weird. It kind of reminds me of um, what was that? The hunter, the hunting, the church hunting weapon. Um, God, what is it called? Um, the, uh, Ligarius Wheel. It reminds me of the Ligarius Wheel. Longius Wheel. The Longius Wheel? Anyway, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm vibing with, with this thing. Slow, heavy. Over there. The steam pump. I will have to go around to get to it. Wonder if they had a voice actress? And then they put her through a filter to, like, mechanize the voice, or how they went about it. They had to, because clearly there's, like, there's something with the, the tonality of her. Yeah, I'm pulling out the field of view just definitely helped. I haven't noticed the weirdness of the camera most of all this episode. Yeah, I mean, stuff, it's not, stuff isn't very well hidden. That's why I'm like, leaning. I'm like, I don't know if we need a walkthrough for this. Stuff is pretty, like, oh, look, there it is. Oh, there it is. Like, it's just, it's just out, you know? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to mess with you a little bit later. God, do I really want to go in? 20? I mean, I have no real heals. You only live once.
this, this ain't right. This ain't right, dude. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is fucked up. <laughs> I can't do this. This may be one of the most broken things I have ever done in a Souls like before. Stay away. Stay away. Don't get too close. <laughs> and I can just let I can just let my things build back up, dude. Oh man. And good night. Yeah, that's that's busted. I I uh, I I uh, um I'm really torn on if I need to just like Ooh, I mean it's not like you could do it forever. You would run out of the alchemic stuff. I think that's the one thing that's stopping this from being like busted beyond repair. This, you know, no salvaging the situation here is like cuz I went into that fight with what 90 and now I'm down to 74. Oh, I had like 100 going in. So you couldn't do that a lot. But that is incredibly broken. That that's the fact that that's even a thing is is ridiculous. But also I want to do it more because it's funny as hell to see it happen. I wonder if the starting ice weapon you could just chain ice over and over again to continually pull stuff like that off. Yeah. Got some more of these things to pop. Pump the health up, get it close to my other bar. Oh, just barely short. Ideally, I'd like to push. Oh no, whoa, health just. Okay, did I hit like, uh, I guess four is the first. I was getting 20 per point. And now I'm only getting 14 per point. I'm already coming up on like a very minor soft cap, I guess. I mean, I'm close. Let me just go out and kill something. I want to I wanna try out the, uh, the flame counter on something I can actually land it on. Uh, let's go up top first. I think that hit loops me back to some treasure that I saw. Come on. Yeah, I can definitely counterattack one of those. That's kind of cool. I want to see if I can parry a ranged attack. I can, that's dope. That's kind of neat that it's the the follow up on the parry is just this you just rush him with a big ass shield slam. That's dope. I got it. You know the one thing this dude the weapons in this game this is super cool. Like we have the claws, we have the dual blade type thing, we have the wheel, we have the fire chain, we have the musket, we have the fans. Like this is some very very good weapon variety so far. Boop. This is probably the way I'm supposed to go. That's the boss arena. But what happens if I go back this way? Baby. 
Oh. That should work. All right. Well, that explains what to come over here for. I had to get up and close the close the door real fast because I could hear it's bedtime for the baby, and he is not happy about bedtime. Do a big loop around? I think this may loop me. I like started going that path and then I was like, oh, let me see what's the other way. Station module. So we had a module on this path. Well, I got to finish going the other route and see where that was going to lead. Because that's, that's what I had to do for progress, was repair that. So where would this lead me around to instead? Just loot? Bendium, Tungsten, Zirconian. Maybe this leads me down to a weapon or something. Bronze ingot, cast iron. Hell yeah, dude. Upgrade mats. And then I'm out. Alright, dope. Well, let's, um... Yeah, let's wrap up. I'm gonna upgrade my weapon. Um, pump some stats and then we'll pick up in the next part. So y'all stay tuned. I'll catch you soon with some more